Hey everybody, Derek here. I'm here to bring another video for The Walking Dead Season 5. And today's video, I'm going to do an, uh, a basically a video predicting um, what Maggie's role will be in the latter half of Season 5 and how she will react to Beth's death. Um, I definitely have a lot of things to you know talk about with Maggie. I think that she's definitely going to be a very big focus in this next season. They kind of, you know, went, um, kind of withheld a little bit on her in the first half. I mean, she's in, she's definitely involved with the plot and she definitely had a very good role, but she wasn't as focused on as she was at other parts of the story. But I think that now at this point, she's going to become a very center stage kind of character. And I have some, uh, comments I want to make about that in my predictions. So just in case you are not caught up with, um, some of the episodes or if you don't read the comics, there may be spoilers here because I'm going to be making references to both, okay? Alrighty, so as we know, um, Beth died in the mid-season finale, and um, basically Maggie did not react very well to that, and I mean, that's to be expected. I mean, you know, she lost her younger sister. That's definitely going to be a very hard thing for her to deal with, and um, I think that it's going to play out for much of the latter half of season five, or maybe somewhere near the middle. I mean, I I don't really know the kind of pacing that they're going to do. Plus, they can focus on many different things and, you know, have Maggie, you know, go through an anger process, grief process. I think there's a lot of things that they can do. But I think that one of the things that we're definitely going to see is Maggie taking both Herschel's death and Beth's death hard at the same time. Because one of the things you kind of saw was, you know, Maggie really didn't grieve over her father's death. I mean, yeah, she cried whenever it happened. It was very devastated and shot the, um, you know, at the governor's people. But what I mean is, is that afterwards, we didn't see Maggie, you know, huddled up in a, you know, curled up in a ball crying. She was out there looking for Glenn, and she basically took control of herself and made herself into a leader of, you know, like Bob and Sasha's group and motivated them to keep going. And that's definitely something that, you know, matters in that, in that, um, you know, episode and in that part of the series is, you know, she kind of, you know, didn't get the time to grieve or she was so motivated by something else that she kind of, you know, was at peace with what happened to Herschel. But now that Beth's death, I mean, Beth's dead as well, I think that those two deaths are really going to hit Maggie because Maggie has always been very family oriented. That's something that we have seen since the beginning of her appearance is, you know, she has had her family. She's had Herschel. She's had Beth. Many of the other characters have not had family members either survive as long or there at all. Um, and I think that that's very important, you know, especially for somebody like Maggie, who, yeah, she lost family members, but she had people there for a while that could help her along. And you could tell that she had a very strong relationship with her father, Herschel. And, you know, I think that she did have a strong relationship with Beth as well. Even though they didn't show it as much on the show, you could still tell that she did love her sister. And she definitely used her sister to help her, you know, cope with this world. And I think that that's very important. But I think that we're going to see her taking that very, very hard um, in this latter half of season five. And, you know, a lot of us have been complaining, like, why didn't you look for Beth, Maggie? Why didn't you look for Beth? You know, you just went off and did your own thing. Well, I think that's that was part of the reason they did that. I think that's going to play a big role in this next half of season five, where I think she's going to definitely regret not doing something more about Beth. I think that's going to hit her very hard. Because one of the things I thought about was when these groups separated, and, and you know, you look at back at the story, I'm like, I, and I said in one of my videos, if that group would not have split up, there is no way that Beth would be dead right now, or very, very unlikely that she would have died. Because let me tell you something, there's no way that Dawn is going to ask for Noah when you've got, you know, ten people with guns pointed at you. But when you only have five or six, that that's, a, that's about putting everybody on equal grounds. And I think that if Maggie would have been there, if, if Abraham and the group would have been with Rick when they went to go get Beth, I think the trade would have went fine. And I think Maggie's going to realize a lot of that. And I think that's going to be a lot of things that she regrets and that's going to very much hurt her throughout the entire, um, you know, latter half of the season and her grieving process. Well, she could have done something. She could have stayed and she, and she didn't. And I think she might also, you know, in a way hold a grudge against Eugene 
because it's Eugene's lie that made her go on this mission. I mean, you just – you look at a lot of things and you realize just how much Eugene actually, like, affected a lot of what happened. I mean, in, in many ways, you know, he may not have gotten Bob killed. I mean, that that's, you know, opinionated. I mean, they went to the food bank in order to get food for the mission. So if they wouldn't have went there – Bob may not have died, or they may have had a different plan. I mean, you can't really necessarily totally blame, but if Eugene would not have, you know, had the group leave, or if Abraham wouldn't have had the group leave when they did to continue the mission, then they would have stayed there, and they would have been able to go along. So, you know, it's very interesting to see just how much Eugene actually played into Beth's death, in a way. And I think that, you know, that might come up into play a little bit, and it might, you know... in impact how maggie feels towards him or it may be about how much he actually has to redeem himself because you just realize how much he's actually involved with a lot of this but i definitely um look at the comics and i think that in some ways we're going to see some comic book parallels between what happened to maggie in the comics and what's going to happen in, and what's going to happen to her in the tv show i think they're going to draw from that I think that Maggie's going to be a little bit despondent, you know, when we come back, you know, in February. And I don't know if she's going to be wanting to talk about it as much. You know, I think she's going to be silent. But I think, you know, she may speak a little bit or we may just be able to tell by her body language just what's going on. Or I think eventually she might again become angry. I mean, you know, there's a lot of different things that go through the grieving process. And I think that, you know, Glenn is definitely going to be impacted by this, obviously. Um, because he's definitely going to be in a hard place of trying to, you know, help Maggie cope, but also to help her continue to survive, because we don't really know what Maggie's thinking. And the thing is, is that when you do go through a tragedy, sometimes various things happen to you, or, you know, you feel a certain way, and it can make you do things drastic. And, and one of the things that I'm hinting at is something that happens in the comics. And in the comics, after, um, after uh, Herschel and Billy, um, it's Billy because she had a brother in the comics instead of a sister at this point. After they died in the prison attack, um, Maggie basically is mostly quiet, mostly, you know, just grieving, mostly like a stone, like a, I call it a stone face. She really doesn't show too much emotion at certain parts. She's kind of just, you know, going along with emotions. And then in one of the issues of the comic, she hangs herself in the forest. Um, basically, you know, wanting to end it, um, not communicating with Glenn about it. I think that just, you know, she get, she was overcome by a lot of grief and just didn't want to go on in this world anymore without her family. And I think that that's definitely something that may happen in the comic. I mean, excuse me, in the TV show. I think it's a big moment for Maggie because it changes who she is as a character. And I think that that's something that can play in the TV show because. What ends up happening is, and again, you can debate, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, say that it was certainly this or not, but basically when Maggie um, did this, she does survive. Um, you know, they basically are able to cut her down in time, and she uh, wakes up. Um, whether she actually died or not, we don't know. Um, now, when Maggie wakes up, though, she believes that she did die. Um, whether or not, you know, that happened or not, we don't know, but it changes her beliefs in, you know, basically what she believes in. And she comes out of it, not believing that there's an afterlife anymore. Um, you know, she's convinced that she did die and that, you know, they were, it was just miraculous that she was able to come back. But she was like, oh, I didn't see any, you know, bright light or this or that, or this or that. And, you know, she basically comes out of it being a non-believer after that, um, which is definitely big for her character because I, I think ultimately that was part of the reason that she wanted to live. And it, it's kind of ironic, you know, um, but, and again, everybody has their own beliefs and opinions and I'm not trying to influence um, either way. I'm just going based on what happened in the comics, but it made her want to live. Um, she's like, Hey, if this is it and this is all I get, I want to enjoy it with you. And, th and that was the thing when she came out of it, you know, she was like, okay, you know, well, if I die, I die. I'm not going to see my, you know, father again. I'm not going to see my brother again. But I have Glenn. I have a husband, and I have somebody who I love and appreciate, and I want to be there and be alive for him. And I think that that's something they can definitely play into 
in the comics, well, let me see me, I keep uh, messing that up, in the TV show, and basically, you know, help Maggie come to terms with what happened and come out of it a stronger character. Um, you know, that she may attempt to do the same thing, and it may definitely be surprising and shocking. And it can definitely put some great stories for Glenn and Maggie, because I think that there's no doubt this is going to put another, um, you know, impact into their relationship and basically how they communicate and how they basically, you know, go about their marriage for the next um, several episodes and maybe into season six. Um, you know, because Maggie's not going to be the same person that she was before, and Glenn either has to adapt to that or they're not going to survive in their marriage. So I definitely think it's um, great plots for the, uh, the latter half of season five, and I think there's a very good chance that they will go through with that storyline, and that will basically help Maggie come to terms with Beth dying and with Herschel dying and will make her want to live and strive to live, because that's the thing. Everybody has to find their own reason to live in this world. You know, Rick in some ways has Carl and Judith, um, and you see, you know, just how each character has found their reason to want to continue and want to live. Basically, whether it's because they believe there's something better, they have family that is there to support them, or they may just be too afraid to die. I mean, that's just, you know, a lot of us would not um, opt out in a zombie apocalypse. We would want to live as long as we possibly could, no matter how long it was. Because we're afraid to die, and I think that's part of the reason why some of them are still alive um, in many respects. So I think that it's definitely something that can help Maggie go from being, you know, in the grieving process to becoming a, you know, character that wants to live, who's driven, and who will have a big impact later on in the story. Because she definitely does in the comics. I think this is a good um, opportunity to continue that. So. I kind of hope that they do some of those storylines, but those are my predictions. That's what I think will happen with Maggie. Um, I have no doubt that they will do some great exploration with her. She's a great character, and I can't wait for season five. Um, this is all I got for today, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments, don't be afraid to leave them. Feel free to subscribe. I have more videos coming. And if you have any video topics that you would like for me to do while we're on hiatus from Walking Dead, uh, don't be afraid to um, suggest them. Put them in the comments. Send me a message. I love uh, hearing suggestions, and I have no problem doing a video um, if, if it's something that you would like on Walking Dead. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you.